I started my arms again. It sucks. I can barely lift them. Ouch! Ouch! Ugh. See, the thing was, I tried to do the same weight that I left off on last year. I figured, well, I built up that muscle, so it'll still be there. And it was, kind of. I managed to do all four sets, 12 reps, four sets, at the same weight that I left off on last year. But man, I'm paying for it today. Dear God, am I paying for it today. I feel like I'm just, I'm gonna fall apart at any minute. Oh, just everything hurts, everything. <sighs> and it's cold. It snowed again. It was snowing on the broadcast uh, yesterday and it stuck last night. It snowed a little bit again today. It's cold outside. It's a cold day and my entire body is sore. And so we're smoking cigars and drinking rum. That's what kind of day it is. Cheers, everybody. System shock. System shock, everyone. I'm really excited about this because the original was published in 1994. 94. And the, this remake that we're going to be make, uh, playing through came out last year, 2023. So that's nearly 30 years between games. And they had been trying to make the remake for a long time. I think they started tossing around the idea back in 2012. And it took them this long to get it out. So everyone's been waiting for this game to come out. And I'm, I'm really excited because... They wanted it to be a faithful reproduction of the original, okay? For all its goods and bads. It's an old game, right? <laughs> and now the, the legacy of System Shock is that many of the gaming concepts that we all take for granted today, especially when it comes to inventory management and controlling a three-dimensional world, were pioneered by the original System Shock. Um... Also, it's got some clunky bits that they kind of chose to not change. So this new remake that was released last year, it feels like an older game. But I'm okay with that. I I'm, I'll probably be cursing later on as we play through the game, and I'll be like, why didn't they change this, and yada yada. But I'm, at the moment, I'm kind of okay with that. I'm eager to explore this universe that I was too young to explore when the game came out. I was like 12 when this original game came out, and I have a vague memory of seeing the game on store shelves and having uh, some of the older boys in my, in my school talking about it and all of that. Uh, I never got to play it, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. Anyway, it's great to have you all on the program today. We are live on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Stephen Williams, Toby Noble, Luke Berman, and Alicia Wolf, and Robin Widdell, and Rum Monigold are in the chat on Facebook today. We've, of course, got all of our regulars and our members and our Patreon supporters on YouTube today. Changed One, Random Wastelander, Scotty P, no Toby Noble, Wolfie Miwi, Murden, Philippe, uh, Ant 444, Laura, The Magic Q, Tilly, Greg, Tony J, IMG Snap, Andy O, Marine 98, and it's Wandering Paladin with the first super chat of the day. Look at you, hacker, a pathetic creature of meat and bone, panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. Shodan. Enjoy System Shock Ox. Thank you, Wandering Paladin. I can't wait. Speaking of which, I forgot to change the name of the game on Twitch. It's an annoying manual process that I have to go through every time I go live. I forgot to do it. Let me do that really quickly, and I'll be right back.
There we go. Not too bad. I changed it to just chatting. So far, my connection has been stable. It's okay. I've got my phone here. I've got a few minutes left of data. <laughs> I've already gone through two almost, almost entire two broadcasts on my phone connection already this week and last week. So hope, hopefully I won't have to do that again. But so far, despite the snow and the ice, my connection is looking pretty stable. So we're going to cross our fingers and hope for the best. Alt Grendel says hello, Oxhorn, and hello to everyone in chat. Hello there, Alt Grendel. So good to see you. Paul Paulington, excellent name, says... Feel ya, Ox. I followed my friend's leg workout routine, and I've been limping for the past two days. Ugh, it's, it's, it's those first few days when you get back into it. After having neglected your workout routine for a long time. It's just torture. And you, you kind of forget, as the months go on, how bad it was when you first start. Because it gets better. It does. You know, after, after the first couple of weeks, your body begins to get used to it and you're getting used to the weights and it doesn't hurt quite so bad <laughs> but that first that first week is rough uh, and that's what I'm dealing with right now uh, Greg Williams says my friend told me to cheer up it's not like you're stuck in the bottom of a well looking up at him I know he means well and sorry about your arms okay so, are you chatting with us from the bottom of a well right now, Greg? Is that what you're trying to tell us? Means well, right? I know he means well. Got you. Bottom of a well, looking up at him, I know he means well. Okay, I think I got that. I think I got it, Greg. I'm piecing two and two together here. Robert Downs says, if your, if your kids refuse to sleep, are they guilty of arrest? I guess, I mean, people don't say you are guilty of arrest. They say you are under arrest. You can say that you've been arrested. I get, I get where the joke was trying to go and I appreciate it, but how would we rewrite this joke to make a little bit more sense um, in the way people actually speak? Um, what, what do you say to the monster hiding under your bed? You're under arrest? I, I, that doesn't work either because it's it's a bed. It's where you rest. It's, you don't call it a rest. Uh, well, there's there's a gold there. There's some gold there somewhere, uh, Robert. <laughs> Just gotta have someone wittier than I who can find it. Julian Z says, "Hi Ox, so good to see you on the Scotch and Smoke Rings. Hope your soreness goes away soon." The developer direct was today. Indiana Jones comes out this year. Looks good. Hey, that's great, Julian Z. Uh, maybe I'll be interested in playing an Indiana Jones game. It feels weird. It feels weird to have Bethesda working on an Indiana Jones game, doesn't it? It's weird. But I'm excited. I mean, I like Indiana Jones. Aaron Barlow says, you're really selling this game, Ox. Can hardly wait to watch. Thank you, Aaron. Can hardly wait to play. Tony J says, as a self-declared galaxy brain, I think you're a person of average intelligence, but I like you forming your own opinions and thinking for yourself. Thanks. Thanks, Tony. You flatter me, Tony J. I'm assuming that's a reference to something. I'm assuming as we dive into System Shock, it'll become apparent. Daniel Holmes, a member for 33 months, says, Looking forward to tonight. Got my whiskey ready. All right, Daniel. Sounds good. Mogster is in the chat on Twitch. Good to see you, Mogster. We've got Mr. Loverman on the chat today. My wife is mad that I have no sense of directions. So I packed up my stuff and right. It's a good directional joke there. Right, left often mixed up. Thank you, Mr. Loverman on Twitch. Good to see Ravens on Twitch today as well. Chen Yang says, uh, good evening, Ox. I've never heard of System Shock. Well, wow, it's great to be able to introduce this to you. Hopefully, we'll all really enjoy it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what to expect as I didn't want any spoilers and I didn't look it up. 
Um, so yeah, we're gonna explore something new together today. Rachel says, it was so cold yesterday that my computer froze. It was my fault. I left too many windows open. And your computer froze because you left too many windows open. Drum, you know, but I'm whatever that's called, it's just great. Thank you, Rachel. Julian Z says, also, Ox, if you plan to do Phantom Liberty, for your information, when you load in, all your perk points are refunded and your cyberware is removed, so you will need time to respec. Oh, really? I mean, I suppose that's unavoidable. But do I really want to spend an hour of a broadcast respecting my... Maybe I'll do that offline. If we do that Monday, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that offline. Ravens89 on Twitch says, You are the reason I got into Fallout. Well, thank you, Ravens. I'm glad to be that guy who introduced you to the wonderful world of Fallout. Battle Wolf is in the chat on Twitch. Hello, all. He says hello, Battle Wolf and Eboxygen. Battle Wolf says this is Daniel Holmes on YouTube. Ah, I see. Got a bit of a YouTube Twitch crossover today. Thank you, Daniel Holmes. Alt Brandle says chat says it should be resisting arrest. Ah, that would make more sense. If you've got kids who don't want to go to bed, they are resisting arrest. Ah, that's, 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 that was it. It's a gem. Thank you, Walt Grendel. Julian Z says, Machine Games is producing Indiana Jones. Oh, is it Machine Games? So then is Bethesda publishing it? I thought, I thought it was... It must have been Bethesda that's publishing it, right? Okay, if Machine Games is producing it. I right, got you, Julian Z. Thank you. Robert Downs says, keep doing what you do. Much love. My brandy is ready. Got, glad you got your brandy. I've got my uh, rum and coke, of course. But it wouldn't be scotch and smoke rings without a little scotch. Eboxygen on Twitch says, In all honesty, you're the reason I bought the Creation Club content in Fallout 4. Was it hella expensive for a teeny game add-on? Yes. Was it not worth it? Good question. <laughs> you know, Eboxygen, um, I think many people who bought the Creation Club content for Fallout 4 walked away feeling the same way. I know I did. As much as I loved so much of the Creation Club content that came out for Fallout 4, I wasn't uh, afraid to admit that it was overpriced, and it might not be worth the price, uh, the price for most people. In fact, I even made a video on this back when I was uh, uh, covering Creation Club content. Uh, I did a, a comparison between many of the other DLCs that Bethesda and Obsidian had come out with, and you know, if they were going to be marketing Creation Club content as "quote unquote" mini DLCs, well, then it's okay to do a correct, uh, a direct comparison between what we get with the Creation Club and what we get with DLCs. And with some of the DLCs, even the ones that they're selling now for older games, being five dollars or ten dollars. Um, the Creation Club content doesn't make sense. Like, you would spend $5 on a DLC for Fallout New Vegas, and you would walk away with 50 new guns, right? And that same price would be for one new gun with no story in Fallout 4. A bit of an issue. That said, the actual quality of the Creation Club creations were um, oftentimes pretty good. I was impressed by them. Red Dove... Or Dove on Twitch says, love your videos. Definitely the lore videos. I'll fall out and other games you've played in. I love your podcast. Love everything you make. Well, Red Dove, uh, Dove, thank you so much. That's extremely kind. And I'm glad you're here. Uh, R Wandering Paladin on Twitch says, since it's an old game, right click is activate and pick up. Okay. Well, that will be interesting to try and figure out. Roman Granados on Facebook says, Hey, Ox. Hey there, Roman. Greg Williams, son, or Greg Williams on YouTube says, I wanted to buy a pair of camouflage pants, but I couldn't find any. 
Also, sorry about the well joke bombing. All's well that ends well. <laughs> okay. That's all right. You know, it's uh, comedy isn't a 100% game. You got to just throw stuff out there and see what sticks. And every now and then you get a winner. All's well that ends well. Thank you very much, Greg Williams. Rachel says, I got fired as a severance, and as a severance, they gave me a bag of used coffee. They said it was grounds for termination. Uh, 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 thank you, Rachel, for that one. Grounds for termination. Love it. Alien Face says, Hi, Ox. How did you like RoboCop? I enjoyed your playthrough. It was great. Stay amazing, Ox. Thank you, Alien Face. I, I had a great time with RoboCop. It was such a cheesy, t just tongue-in-cheek, fun game. It was just fun to play. Uh, I was thrilled. It was, it was great. Wonderful suggestion. Thanks to everyone who recommended I play it, and I'm glad we did. Fishkey says, good evening, Ox. Indiana Jones is by Machine Games, right, of Wolfenstein fame. So, familiar with Nazi games. Looks great. Bet you'll have some fun with that whip. Yeah, we get to whip some Nazis. That's always, uh, d uh, I always love that. Um, yeah, okay. So, Bethesda's publish, uh, publishing it, and Machine Games is developing it. That makes more sense. Thank you, Fishkey. Colin Willis says, uh, Stop watching my boyfriend play God of War Ragnarok to be here. I'd rather be here, lol. Okay. Well, I promise not to tell the boyfriend, but we can all wish him the best playing. I mean, I would probably be playing God of War Ragnarok if I could get it to work on my PC. But until they're able to port it over to the PC, I guess we'll just have to deal with what, uh, do with what we can. Thankfully, I mean, I did, I was able to play the original. Uh, well, I mean, the most recent one. Well, the next most recent one, uh, the recent reboot of God of War, they they sent to the PC and I was able to play and we all really enjoyed that on the program. So I'd love to play Ragnarok when it comes out, but they're just neglecting the PC right now. That and Horizon Forbidden West, another one that I really want to play, but hasn't been ported over to the PC yet. Ah. Ryan McWilliams says, as someone who works from home, do you ever find it hard to get started for the day? I refurbish wood furniture and have been struggling to start daily. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what helps. Uh, my kids' school schedule really helps, as I need to be there at the bus stop to drop them off. And um, uh, then that gives me, since I'm already up, it gives me an excuse to go work out. Because I'm already up anyway, I might as well work out and have a decent breakfast. And then by the time I'm done with that, I'm ready to start the day and I'm good. Uh, it's, it's the temptation is staying up late. I'm naturally a night owl. I have been all my life. Even when I was a child in you know middle school and high, high school, I, I just loved staying up late. That's where I found myself to be most creative. So the, the, it, I'm, I have had to try to figure out ways to tire myself during the day so that when nighttime comes, I'm actually ready to sleep. Because if I'm not, then I'll get involved in something, whether it's working on a project or playing a game, and, and then b before I know it, it's 4 a.m., and then my sleep cycle is shot, and yeah. So, working from home can, can be tricky. Finding something that gets you up in the morning um, is a good place to look, a good place to start. Cannabis Sewer says, uh, Hey, Ox, hope you and the family are having a good week. Take my money and have a good night. Well, thank you very much. Cannabis Sewer, I, of course, am flattered as always. Cleansed in Fire says, When does a joke become a dad joke? When it leaves you and never comes back. Ooh, well, I think we all expected that one to go in a completely different direction when it becomes apparent. Ah, right, but, but that's, ouch, that's, that's traumatic cleansed in fire. I, as a dad, I object. I, not all dads are like that. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> cleansed in fire, that's, uh, that's rough. Nick says, hi, Oxen Chad. Hope everyone is staying warm. Looking forward to a great stream. Thank you, Nick. Doing my best to stay warm here. Robert Downs says, uh, on Fallout, where would you like to see the next one? Uh, great question. Whenever I'm asked this, I always 
say that I'd love to see what annexed Canada would look like as it is part of America by the time the bombs drop in 2077. I think it would be fitting to have the game set there. Um, I'd love to see it in Texas. I'd love to see it in Mexico. I'd love to see it in Hawaii. That was brought up on the program a couple of broadcasts ago, and that's a wonderful idea. Florida would be fun. And, of course, the Pacific Northwest. The new guy 95 says, respecting that's why I haven't started Phantom Liberty. I can't remember how I built my character originally, so I didn't want to make a mistake. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at as well. Aboxygen on uh, Twitch says, hey, uh, Ox, out of pure curiosity and questionnaire, who made your profile image? Was it a gift, a commission? Was it a physical piece? Digital? Been watching your content since your old World of Warcraft stuff, and I don't think I've ever found out, to be honest. Well, um, I have worked with a number of artists to produce a variety of art that I use in my, in my job. I hire artists to create art for my shop, and of course I hire artists to create, you know, branded artwork for my website, well, my, my old website, for my YouTube channel, my emojis, all of that stuff. So I hired an artist to produce the thumbnail. And I think it did a really good job. Julian Z says, uh, it's Todd Howard's personal project. He loves Indiana Jones, and he may have uh, set a framework, but he said Machine Games is a better fit to get it right. I see. Okay. So it's a, a passion project for Todd Howard. Interesting. Well, I look forward to seeing the game when it comes out. <coughs> Ranker1138 says, where does a mansplainer drink? The well, actually. The well, actually. Mansplainer. That's where, that's where a mansplainer drinks. Thank you for that one, Ranker1138. Just classic there. Aboxygen on Twitch says, what's red and bad for your teeth? A brick. Yes. Also, battery acid. Is battery acid red? Thermite. Also bad for your teeth. Is thermite red? I thought thermite is red. Tilly says, since the snow came, all my husband has done is look through the window. If it gets any worse, I'll have to let him in. Please be nice to your husbands. They, they need love and warmth and dry places to sleep, even if it is the couch. A dry couch, a dry warm couch to sleep on. Tosca says, uh, hey Ox, it's K May changed my name, lol. Haven't been around much and was feeling especially down tonight. I'm happy you're on. Hope you and the chat have been well. Well, K May, I do recognize that name. I do remember you, now known as Tosca. Good to have you back, and I hope that you'll be able to enjoy us for the rest of the broadcast today. Mark from Sales says, I need to make a confession. When I was a kid, I stole a kitchen utensil. At the time, it was a whisk I was willing to take. A whisk you were willing to take? Stole a kitchen utensil. Wonderful, Mark from Sales. You guys are just on point today. Cheng Yang says, uh, a YouTuber named Lemimo, or Lem Lemino, sorry about that, got me into Fallout. He made a top 10 fact. One more thing, post a voting poll for the next faction. <laughs> well, that's great. I mean, I'm glad that anybody got you into Fallout. Fallout uh, deserves a huge audience because it's an exceptional franchise, and I'm so glad that you, are, uh, that you got into it. Um, also, uh, when it comes to <laughs> my series, I already know what I want to do, and uh, it's not democratic. I'm not taking votes on it. I'll take votes on lots of different things and ideas for the games that I'm going to play, shirt ideas, for example, but 
I already know where I'm going with the series, and I'm going to just follow that thread. Wyoming Homesteader says, I suggest default difficulty. Three adds a time limit. Oh, dear God. Okay. I hate time limits. I'm not going to do them. I will do the default difficulty. Thank you very much, Wyoming Homesteader. Alt Grendel says, how many Darwin Award winners does it take to change a light bulb? We don't know. They keep getting electrocuted. All right. Well, it, when you know anything about the Darwin Awards, that uh, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for that one, Alt Grendel. Adrian Parker says, hey, Ox, hope you had a great day. Need a little advice as I want to ask someone out, but I am kind of scared. How do I over overrun my fear well I have the answer for you but I'm afraid it's not going to make you happy the only way to get over your fear of social rejection is to ask someone out it's just to force yourself into it and even then I don't think that the fear of social rejection ever truly goes away it's kind of like stage fright a little bit. I mean, there are famous, you know, Broadway actors and opera singers who've been doing that sort of thing for years who still get a little jittery every time they go on stage. And uh, I, I think the same can be true for social interactions. Some people are more comfortable with it than others. I think usually people who have been celebrated throughout their youth and have, uh, have had a history of having less to fear about social interaction tend to find an easier time with it. But people who have been uh, ridiculed or mocked or rejected more often than others throughout their youth, I think are going to find a, a, a harder time getting over that fear simply due to their history with it. But sadly, we don't have the luxury of avoiding social inter uh, interaction. I mean, uh, some of us can try, but that leads to living your life in your house, in your basement, and you know, socializing with your parents for the rest of your life. <laughs> and that's about it, right? And we can't do that. So uh, we, we, we got to try. We got to force ourselves to do it. I guess getting to the point where you realize that everyone is just as stupid as you, <laughs> if that makes any sense, like I, I think uh, to not value the uh, opinions of other people too much. To not worry about what they think of you because they don't really ultimately have any power over you. All the power they have over you is the power you can give them uh, based on your reaction to their rejection. And uh, once you realize that, then it might be easier to be rejected socially. And then when you realize that social rejection isn't the end of the world and it's not that bad, you might have a little bit more bravery to put yourself in situations where you might be rejected socially. Uh, but, I mean, the thing is, a lot of times it's in your head so that when you actually put yourself out there, you're not rejected, even though you thought you would be, but you're not. And the more experience you have with that, um, the more mature you get and the easier it will become, even though that fear might not ever ultimately go away. Hope that helps. Nuka Tom says, Aloha, you most auspicious of audiences and the brilliant bearer of the bodacious bowler himself. My excitement is contagious tonight as you come to tango in the great starry beyond with gaming's first artificial god complex. Also, free arachnophobia warning. <clears throat> well, thank you for that, Nuka Tom. As always, that does not fail to impress us all. You're loquacious as ever. Uh, arachnophobia warning, did you say? Oh, great. Well... Not fond of spiders. Well, that'll be fun. Spiders, though. I thought this was like space. Like we're taking this is taking place in a space station. I got to worry about spiders now. Oh man. Christopher Estrada, a member for seven months, says Fallout Hawaii makes total sense. 1950s tiki culture mixed with Adam Punk sounds amazing. Kind of like Blue Hawaii meets a boy and his dog, Lamau. Yeah, and there's plenty of, there, there's a huge military presence on the islands as well, right? So, yeah, there'd be a lot of wonderful, interesting things to explore there, I think. Ashbot says, did you hear about Pillsbury Doughboy? He died of a yeast infection.
Moving on. Thank you, Ashbot. Odyssey Haynes says, hey, Oxen Chant. I really enjoyed the Fallout 4 video. Thank you very much, Odyssey Haynes. Hope you guys have been following my Railroad series. The next video is going to advance the plot a little bit. We've been working on the side quests for the Railroad up until now, but it's time we go back into the Institute and make some tough decisions. I'm excited for this weekend's video. I hope you, go, you guys are as well. Nuka Tom says, by the way, I have a nice little epilogue for Mr. Ro uh, Robert Cop, like a neat little bow on the streams. Mind taking a look at Robocop's friendship from Mortal Kombat 11? The masses will be pleased. Well, what, what even is that? Mortal Co Robocop's friendship. I guess I'm going to have to Google this. Robocop's friendship, uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, oh, 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 that's very nice. Okay. Well, um, I don't want to rebroadcast somebody else's video, but this is delightful. If anyone is interested in some, um, post Robocop, um, delight, uh, Google the RoboCop friendship and you'll see well I don't want to spoil it but it'll be it'll be really nice thank you for that one Nuka Tom man bear says hey ox I'm a little behind on the Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough did you find the adamantine forge in the underdark you can get some pretty good gear by doing it I did I did find uh, the uh, adamantine forge the grim forge right and I got what was it two or three pieces I think we found three pieces <coughs> of adamantine and we walked away with three pieces of armor. That was uh, Man Bear's fifth super chat. Thank you so much, Man Bear. Urarurar says, Ox, a friend told me I should write a book. I said, that's a novel concept. Thank you, Urarurar. That's a gem. Love it. Rachel says, how are Admiral and Grits? My dog crunched and ate an AirPod, so I had to take him to surgery to take it out due to the lithium battery. He's fine and has no regrets, just expensive taste. <laughs> That's a bummer. Um, sorry to hear about that. Both of the dogs have been doing very well. I already told you about Admiral's surgery that he had a couple of months ago. He has recovered from that. He's feeling so much better. Um, Grits developed a hot spot. I don't remember if I talked about that on camera or not, but this also was several weeks ago. And uh, he had to go and get his neck shaved a little bit. And then, I, you know, we put medicine on and he had to take an antibiotic for a couple of weeks. But he's over that now as well. His hair's already grown back and he's feeling good. They're both doing great. Steel101 says, you know, Ox, it's odd. Some Fallout fans hate the family background for Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. And yet they consider the Fallout 2 story backstory legendary. See what I mean? Lol. I do see what you mean. He's uh, referencing that uh, the chosen one who you play during Fallout 2 is a familial descendant of the Vault Dweller from Fallout 1. Uh, essentially what happens is at the end of Fallout 1, the Vault Dweller gets exiled from the Vault and he goes and founds the tribe of Arroyo, where he finds and marries a tribal woman and they start a family and a tribe grows up around them and then he dies and becomes an icon. And it's his ancestor, um, the Chosen One, who is the hero of the game of Fallout 2. Uh, I see what you mean, but it's also... So, I think the joke is that the plots of Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 have very similar motives. As the Chosen One, you're not leaving the tribe to find your father or your son. That's not what motivates you, right? But in Fallout 3, you leave the vault to find your father. That's the motivation of the char uh, of your, your character. In Fallout 4, you leave the vault to find your son. That's your motivation, right? So uh, there is some criticism to be said that the familial motivation in both Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 are a little similar. And even though you're right, the Chosen One is related to the Vault Dweller, the motivation for the Chosen One to leave the tribe of Arroyo is very different. So, but I'd see what you mean. 
Uh, Sith G Redacted says, Hail, a great and powerful Oxhorn. Thank you very much, Sith G Redacted. Sarah Reger is in the chat. Hey, Ox. Hey there, Sarah. Good to see you again. Wandering Paladin on Twitch says, Robot Spiders. Is it really Robot Spiders? I don't know. Spiders are less terrifying when they're robotic. And am I the only one who thinks that? Like, the, the terrifying thing about a biological spider is, you know, the hair and the eyeballs and the venom and just all those nasty... If you got a robot spider, it's just a bunch of metal that happens to walk around like a robot. It doesn't have a bunch of eyeballs and hairy spines and all that, so it's not quite as scary. Boobs says, Good morning, Ox. I mean night. I just woke up and I'm confused and a little scared. It's dark outside. Man, time flies. Yes, time definitely does fly, boobs. I can understand the fear. Good to have you on the chat today. John says, evening, and that was John's first super chat. Thank you so much, John. Sarah Reger says, hey, Ox, I bought my fiance a gaming laptop and have been enjoying watching him play Starfield. Super fun. Cheers. Wow, he's lucky to have you as a girlfriend. Bought him a laptop. That's great. Yeah, Starfield is a whole lot of fun. I'm glad he's been enjoying the game. I certainly enjoyed it as well. Barry Patch Gaming on Twitch says, Hey Ox, I'm looking into getting back into doing Twitch playthroughs. I don't have much of a setup. No face cam, just me, my headset, and my Xbox One. What suggestions do you have for new upstarts? I'm getting hot. I think it's the rum. I'm going to take off my coat because <clears throat> I'm getting a little hot. Well, um, okay, so when it comes to gameplay walkthroughs, it depends upon your style, and it's very difficult to know what would be a, a, appropriate for your style um, without knowing you all that well. I can say that for uh, when it comes to live streams, people want to see your face. So if it's on Twitch... I think it's going to be very difficult to do that without having a camera uh, where you can interact with the chat. Because it's very difficult to interact with your chat if you can't look at the camera and talk to the chat in the way that I'm talking with you. Uh, that said, you instead of publishing it to Twitch, if you didn't want to show your face or use a camera, then you could have Let's Plays that are edited, right? Where you're, um, you're using punchy, tight edits to edit some of the best segments of your playthrough to produce a you know, 20 to 30 minute video, which is trying to achieve one goal. And in that situation, it's less important for you to have a face cam. And in fact, the face cam might even be distracting. So I don't know, you gotta kind of decide what you wanna do, where do you wanna publish, what makes the best sense for you. Chen Yang says, uh, your question about Wallace is a good point about how he became smart. Like the chosen one and the courier who has no scientific background. Well, I think the thing with, um, I think the thing with the protagonists of the Fallout games is that intelligence is an inherent attribute, right? <clears throat> Knowledge must be learned, but intelligence is inherent. So the chosen one could be a very intelligent person, even if he or she doesn't have a scientific background, right? <clears throat> you don't need a scientific background to be intelligent. You could do better at science if you are intelligent, but the two aren't predicated upon each other. Uh, same with the courier, right? The courier lost his or her memory, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he or she lost his intelligence. Having a scientific background, like um, a scient use, like using a scientist perk, that might be a little bit trickier to explain from a role-playing perspective. And that's one of the reasons why I think having a, a, a written protagonist, somebody who goes into the game with a backstory, always makes role-playing in that game a little bit trickier. I mean, even if you erase the mind of the character at, at one point so that the player can now tell the story, it doesn't change the fact that the Chosen One, for example, has a past as a package delivery person, which makes role-playing that person as a scientist now a little bit harder without having that, that kind of background. Odyssey Haynes with a super tip. Thank you so much, Odyssey Haynes. 
Zach Taylor says, Howdy Ox, this might have been mentioned already, but there's an official build planner for Cyberpunk Online you can play around with. Attributes can only be used once, but skills can be reset whenever. Awesome. Thank you, Zach Taylor. I'll have to check that out before I decide to do Phantom Liberty, if I do at all. Boobs says, It's getting hot in here. Let's take off all our clothes. Thank you, boobs. That does tend to happen. I'm getting hot, not because of your username, but because of the rum tends to make me warm. So I'm taking my coat off. It was a bit hot. Odyssey Haynes says, uh, is it bad that I'm requesting April 12th off to watch the Fallout TV show? <laughs> no, absolutely not. It is not bad at all. I, I definitely wouldn't tell them why you're asking for time off. Maybe keep that one a secret. Uh, but uh, to have that as your excuse, ab absolutely not. How often will there be the launch date of a Fallout TV show in anyone's lifetime? It's a rare event. So take advantage of it. Celebrate it. Tilly gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the chat. Thank you so much, Tilly. And congratulations to Varoxes, Sarah Reger, uh, Gavril Lescu Nikolai. Sorry if I butchered that. Danny Jackson and Dulce Vita. Thank you again very much, Tilly. Steel 101 says, well, technically the chosen one leaves the village to look for the elder, his mother. So it's a full circle now. The dad, the mom, and the son. Kind of nice. Did he? What? It wasn't a water chip? Didn't It didn't have something to do with the water chip? Could have sworn. It's been so long since I did my Fallout 2 playthrough that I'm forgetting. But I'll, uh, I, I get what you're saying. Thank you, Steel101. Mark from Sales gifted 10 Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Mark from Sales, and congratulations. Uh, congratulations to Heather Lightfoot, Anna S., Kevin L., Mike Wright, Ian Ronan, Jason Fisher, Richard Johansson, Walker76, Wrecker Lawson, and UberNerd3000. Barry Patch Gaming on Twitch says, uh, Thanks, friend. That does make sense. I did do some live streams last year with no face cam. <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't have much viewership outside of friends. I also have done YouTube in the past with edited videos showcasing like uh, RCT creations. Perhaps I'll bring that back with Planet Coaster. Who knows? I definitely want to do something. I guess I just haven't found my niche. Yeah, and it'll take some experimentation. Um, it took me a while before I found my niche as well. So, yeah, just experiment with what you like. You gotta, If you do look for a niche, you got to make sure that it's something that if you do succeed and you take off, you, you can do for a long time. I'm, I'm just very glad that I'm still as enthralled with the Fallout universe today in 2023 or 2024 as I was when I started making my Fallout videos in 2016. So I'm very lucky in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> Steel 101 says Enclave kidnapped the village later in the story. Yeah, yeah, it's, I'm just, it's, I've got too much in my head right now. It's hard for me. I'd have to go back and rewatch my Fallout 2 videos. Ethan Grishaw became a bronze ox. Thank you so much, Ethan Grishaw. Random Wastelander says, Heard you're from Alaska. Ever miss the North? From time to time, uh, I, you know, I, I loved living in Alaska when I was younger, and I still have some family in Alaska whom I visit from time to time. Uh, I can say that, you know, whenever I do visit Alaska, it just feels so disconnected from everything else. And I, I even get that feeling here in Washington from time to time, uh, just feeling disconnected from everything else that's going on in the nation. Uh, but I suppose that's uh, to be expected when, you know, Alaska is separated from the rest of the country by an entirely other country, uh, by an entire other country. So I suppose that can't be helped. Man of Warb says, I roleplayed my courier to pick up science and medicine skills at Big Mountain and his survival and melee skills at Zion Canyon. There you go. That's a way to go about it. I love that. John says, I'm curious what would have happened in Rogue City if you saved the old man 
Any chance you could fire up the game real quick, load the last save, and see? Uh, no. Uh, I am curious about that as well, but um, uh, I think it might be easier to just Google that. And we're moving on to another game today, so I'm not going to be doing that today. But yeah, I, I would recommend just going uh, onto YouTube and Googling to see what that particular ending might look like. Rachel says, have you picked the next topic for after the full story? No, no, I, I, uh, I have not. I mean, I've got a long time to go before I complete the full story of Fallout 4, so I haven't thought about the next topic yet. Robert Downs says, where in Alaska is your family? I will say hi for you. <laughs> I mean, I've got family all over Alaska, Anchorage, of course, I have family there. Uh, but yeah, I, I doubt very much that you'd bump into them. Crimson Bolt says, uh, what happened if the Enclave won in Fallout 2? Also, have you played Doom 3 BFG Edition? It's a slow-paced Doom uh, game packed with lore and stories. Cheers. Uh, I don't know if the if the Dooms that I have played is the same Doom that you're talking about, but I played the Doom remake when it came out, and then every Doom since then. Uh, as for what happened if the Enclave had won Fallout 2, uh, well, they, they would probably have an army of Deathclaws and would have tried to take over the continent, I guess. They had to be stopped. Okay, well, I do have one thing to show off. And it's this. Uh, yeah, they decided to ship it around the same time. I got my, um, my Nuka-Cola Wild last week. And my Nuka-Cola Quantum came a few days ago. So that brings me to four. And I'm, I've now got Nuka-Cola, Nuka-Cola Dark, Nuka-Cola Wild, Nuka-Cola Orange... And now Nuka-Cola Quantum. Okay, so I said four. That's five. And I taped this shut. Let me crack this open real quick. There we go. There it is. The Nuka-Cola Quantum. It comes with the Nuka Quantum bottle caps. And it's actually blue. Look at that. There's no fluid in there, but it still looks blue. Huh. That's great. So I suppose that means any fluid we choose to put in there would look like Nuka Cola Quantum. I wonder if you could put something that glows in there. But you'd have to fill it all the way to the top there. To seal the illusion. All right, there it is. Some actual glass Nuka Cola bottles. I love them. Ant444 on Twitch says uh, Here's a joke. I once had a turtle as a teacher. I once had a turtle as a teacher. He taught us well. Yeah, that's that's a joke right there. Thank you, Ant. He, he taught us well. Oh, Ant. Turtle as a teacher. I love it. It's delightful. Man of Warb says, don't know how much the polar vortex affected you, but it feels like Alaska down here in the Hoosier State. Uh, you know, we've been hit by the edges of it. It's been really cold, and we've had a little bit of snow. But, uh, you know, life is going on as normal, pretty much. It hasn't really... In I mean, we've got... We had a few snow days. School was canceled uh, yesterday and today for the kids. So, has been some interruption, but mostly people are getting around all right. Void Mayonnaise says, Have you watched the rehearsal? It's mind-bending. I have not watched the rehearsal. So I guess I'm, that means I don't get the joke. But I'm sure many people watching do. Mark from Sales says, Ox. Ox says, I'm not buying any more prompts. Also, Ox, check out my various Nuka-Colas. Yeah. Yeah. 
I realize I have a problem. I realize nothing I can do. I'm just indulging myself at this point. Cheng Yang says, Ox, remember the comment from your Mass Fusion Tower lore video about the player bringing dance? I did the same thing, bringing dance while talking to Ali and inform Ingram to start Spoils of War. Uh, it's been so long since I've done my mash, my, my mass fusion video that I don't recall that particular scenario. So um, I, I don't, I don't remember. Bringing dance while talking to Ali Fillmore and informing Ingram to start spoils of war. Well, are you saying that you brought Paladin Dance as a companion, but then you went with the Institute and Ali Fillmore? to Mass Fusion? Because if that's the case, that's really interesting. Can you bring Ali Fillmore to Mass Fusion, then go tell the Brotherhood to warn them about what's going on so that when you arrive... Well, no, they're, they're, you wouldn't be able to do that. If you go to Mass Fusion, you turn the Brotherhood hostile. Yeah, it's been so long since I've made that lore video, I'd have to look at it again. Um, Rachel says, so where are the new bottles going in the office? I haven't figured it out yet. They're currently going nowhere. I have them stacked on my bench over there. I've got a couple stacked over here because I just don't have any room. One of these days, I'll figure it out. Cheng Yang says, yes. <clears throat> well, I mean, you can... Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. So you're with the Brotherhood. You've got Paladin Dance as an active companion. You go to the Institute. You talk to Ali Fillmore. Then you teleport to Mass Fusion with Ali Fillmore as a companion to do Mass Fusion on behalf of the Institute. But then Paladin Dance, your companion, shows up with you on the rooftop of Mass Fusion. How does that happen? Okay. Okay. You're right. I mean, that's a gaming thats a gaming issue. It shouldn't happen. If you're being teleported to the rooftop of Mass Fusion, no companions should show up with you. Is that it? Are, are we talking about the same thing there? I hope so. Uh, Berry Patch Gaming says, Oh, hey, if we're doing jokes, here's one that's kind of dark, but still funny. Birds of a feather flock together. Except crows, they murder together. That's why everyone hates crows, I guess. It's a matter. A matter of crows. Void Mayonnaise says, Oh, it's not a joke. I just watched the series start to finish, and it's like Inception on steroids. It's a show within a show within a show within a... And I see where that's going. Okay. Well, I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to make a note to myself to check it out later. Would you kindly, says, When does game start? In about six minutes, would you kindly... Be patient until the game starts. <clears throat> but it will start, don't you worry. Elena Sherwood on Facebook says, Made it! By the way, Ox, I watched some of your Elden Ring streams. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> Listen. She says, As one friend to another, that was rough. Lol. It's my first Souls-like, and I can tell you with absolute confidence, it's the easiest Souls to get into. Promise, if I can do it, you can too. Well, um, yes, Elena, I, I recognize that my playthrough of that particular game was, was rough, which is why I didn't continue. I stopped, and I did not continue playing that game. Um... Yeah, the thing is, I don't like doing things over and over again. I don't. I get that there's an audience for that, and there's even a satisfaction in practicing something repeatedly until you excel at it and then move on to the next thing. And in many places of life, that's an admirable thing, right? You practice until you get it perfect, and then you can excel at what you're doing. But in a video game, I don't want to fight the same boss 10, 15, 
20 times? I don't. I don't want to be in the middle of something and then have some red guy appear out of nowhere and kill me for no reason. I don't. I don't want to have to go back to where I was and start over, over and over and over and over again. And I get that, you know, people like that kind of thing, but I personally don't. Now, I, you know, I, I have played Dark Souls for my own personal enjoyment, and um, I do get it. Like, there is something alluring about that particular type of gameplay and exploring those worlds. But uh, I also think that without a guide, it's almost impossible. Like, I was playing Dark Souls just for my own personal enjoyment, and I was incredibly frustrated until I started watching other YouTube videos and, you know, seeing how other people went by, got through it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I can do that. And then I would go into the game and do it the first time. And it wasn't difficult. It was just realizing what I had to do because the game wouldn't tell me that I had to do. Or what, what I had to do. Like, getting past that dragon on the bridge... In order to do that, you go down to the lower section, and then you go past this little support, and then you go past this little support, and then if you lean over the edge, you can just barely see his tail, and if you use your bow to shoot his tail with this very specific kind of arrow, by the way, then you can kill him without taking any fire damage, and that is the only way to go get over the bridge. I would never in any universe have figured that out on my own, nor would I have had the energy to try and troubleshoot all possible ways of getting past that bridge until I found the one corner that I can peek around where I can see his tail and shoot it off. It's, it's that kind of stuff where I can appreciate it from a distance. I just don't want to be in it. <laughs> you know? So maybe someday I'll revisit Elden Ring. But it's not high up on my list right now. Just Cowboy says, uh, thanks for the years of entertainment, buddy. Hope you and yours enjoyed the holidays. Have a great new year. Thank you, Just Cowboy. You have a great new year as well. Random Greymane says, time to remodel garage into a streaming space. Hey, <laughs> good luck, my friend. That should be rewarding. John says, have you found the Fallout 4 desk fan yet? Uh, I have a fan. It's not exact. It's close, but it's not exact. I'll show it. I feel like I'm 80 years old. I'm just sore all over. So that's my Fallout 4 fan. And uh, it's close. It is. But if you were to take a look at this fan side by side with the one in Fallout 4, you're going to notice that the blades of the fan are a little different. The bend in the wires that cover this grill are a little different. But it's the right shade. <laughs> it's the right shade of green, and it's got it's got an overall similar shape to it. I found it on eBay. I didn't test it. I don't know if it works because, you know, I'm not about to plug that into a modern electrical circuit. But it's it it's okay. This is the closest I've gotten, and I like it. Man of Warp says. In a different Bioware game series called Dragon Age, there is an assassin guild called the Crows. That game also has a race that is derisively called Oxmen. Oh, dear. Well, uh, an assassin murder group called the Crows. I get the joke there, and I love it. Just Cowboy says paint it blue, and it'll be close enough. I don't know, the, the fan in Fallout 4 isn't blue. It's a it's a turquoise. It's like a, a it's a turquoise green color. It's a greenish blue. It's more green than it is blue. It's got a little blue in it, but it's more green than blue. RK Asterix says, does it work? I don't know. I haven't bothered plugging it in. It's like 70 years old and I'm afraid to to run electricity through it, so I'm not gonna bother plugging it in.
Solo one time says, do you think the Fallout 4 assault rifle is a joke? Uh, no, I, I actually like the way it looks. I realize that it looks kind of funky, <laughs> but I kind of like how weird it looks. It's definitely got an older um, World War II aesthetic mixed with an atomic punk vibe going on. And, uh, you know, using it in game, it's all right. I mean, there are other weapons in the game that I prefer to use, but it's okay. Ranker1138 says, look into the GE Wiz fan. It's a little closer. All right, I'm going to make a note to myself. GE Wiz. Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's close. You know, the grill uh, of the GE Wiz is a problem because it's um, really twisty, really bendy. But it is also very close to the Fallout fan. I th you know, I think I saw a fan like the GE Wiz when I was looking for the one that I got, and I didn't choose it just because the grill is a bit too much. The, if you call it a grill, whatever, the metal guard, it's just a bit too... The ones in Fallout are perfectly straight. And this one has a slight bend in it. The GE one is its all over the place. It's like a noodle. Zach Taylor says, what you smoking tonight, Ox? Tonight I am smoking some La Aurora y Leon Brazils. And they're not the best cigars, but they're affordable and they work. Alt Grendel says, time, Oxhorn. Thank you very much, Alt Grendel, for keeping me on time today. Let's go ahead and launch the game and get ready for some system shock. Nuka Tom says, if you're more into the story than the game, Vati Vidya does a great content similar to yours on the Dark Souls and Formsoft games and recently narrated an audiobook of the complete written lore. That's exciting. Uh, thank you very much, Nuka Tom. Okay, let's fire this up. Cheng Yang says, I'm, I'm sorry, there's alternatively to inform you uh, the Brotherhood to Mass Fusion after talking to Ali again. Sorry, I rush. Okay, I'm sorry. There is alternatively to inform the Brotherhood. Oh, I, I, there's an alternative to inform the Brotherhood about Mass Fusion after talking to Ali. Okay. Uh, well, I wonder if that's possible. I sure hope so. Let me get the lights. Okay, I changed the category on Twitch, so we should all be good to go. Let's do this. 
New game. Hold on, options. Gameplay. Auto play media logs. Yeah. Auto rotate mini map. Uh, no. Focus camera on puzzles. Uh, yeah. Let's try that. Adam M. gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Adam M. And congratulations to Tara Smith, JJH, David Jordan, Planning Robberies, and The Organic Mechanic. Love it! Auto slot hotbar. If there's an empty hotbar slot available, new weapons and items are placed in the corresponding category automatically. Yeah. Automatically reload weapons. No. Reload can use batteries. Okay. Let's apply that. Uh, all right, general key bindings. I think this is all pretty good. Why is it on medium? Why is it on medium? It should be good. Let's do auto there. I'm going to try high for everything. And if it's really bad, we'll change these settings later. Okay. T to apply. Show subtitles. Yes. Okay, backspace, backspace. New game. Okay, so this is the difficulty you were talking about, and this is really interesting how they split difficulty up into four different categories. We can manually tweak the difficulty of combat uh, mission, which is Shodan is watching the hackers every move. Cyber, which is Shodan's security protocols, pursue the hacker while Cyber Denzians engage on site. Oh, wow. That would be terrifying. And then Puzzle. Get ready to think. I see. So if we went to three, if you die in the game, you die in real life. Dear God. <laughs> Take a stroll through the Citadel Station Network. All right. Well, chat recommended we go on default, so we'll go on default. Spying on me. Diego commented, this is a landmark moment in human history. We have achieved an entire decade 
of self-sustained living and working around Saturn's L6 orbit. Both I, as well as Trioptimum's board of directors... Okay, uh, I think the audio needs to be tweaked a little bit because you're right, it was really loud, but I think that was primarily due to the music. Uh, the music was, let's push that down to 60. We want speech to be above everything else so we can hear everything plainly. Um, ambient noise, I think we're okay for now. Let's try that with the music turned down. Would like to extend our most heartfelt gratitude to all staff Oh, that's the radio. Their success is Earth's success. Oh, the I accidentally turned it off. The message brought to you by the Trioptimum Corporation. Fancy a change of career? Feeling the need for a new challenge? Want to work with the brightest minds on this planet? Try I can't interact with any of this. Discovery. Chicken Bizkit became a bronze ox. Thank you very much, Chicken Bizkit. Our flagship Citadel Station. Game Brick. That's the console. Research, Space Minotaur. Strives to provide every employee a safe and enjoyable work environment. System Shock. Really? Their full really? There's a copy of System Shock in System Shock. Angel, Space Minotaur. Example. Coffin Tank. Station means a lot more to me than any other place I've ever lived. It's more than just a great professional environment. As a corporation, Tri Optimum has given me a place where I can feel safe. Cool, I can toggle the lights. All of my needs are taken care of under one great big roof. I feel like I'm part of a family. <laughs> Alright, playing the guitar. If you think you have what it takes, send us your resume today. Is that a CD player? <laughs> this concludes tonight's broadcast. Oh, it's dark in this corner. Can I turn on the light over here? Oh. All right, open the door. Oh, wonderful. Can I, I can't use it. I can just tinker with it. Can I flush? I can't, I can flush. Oh, is that a, a face imprint in the mirror? Like a tiny face imprint? Is that supposed to be a hand dryer? It's just shooting out dust. What is that supposed to be? Oh! Oh, that's a shower. Oh, this is soap. It's like a soap dispenser. interact with everything. Look at that. I can even interact with the toothbrush. <laughs> I can interact with it all. Right. I am easily amused. Wait, we got more lights. Oh, I guess they're already on. I feel like it's really dark in this corner. Cosmic corn. What's that? Rice poplars? Rice poppers. Rice poppers. Bacon crackos. And blast bits. No, blast bars. I, I think my favorite thing about games is packaged foods. Just finding all of the variety of packaged foods in the universe. It's my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing at Starfield and the Outer Worlds. Look at that. We can activate the fridge. All right, we got some creamer, like a coffee creamer. 
and beer. Dude, and fries. He lives on French fries, beer, eggs, pizza, and coffee creamer. Wow, this guy is a gamer. Okay. Why am I so amazed by this? <laughs> okay, what's this? Peak Master. Coffee maker. I love how it has its it's built into the wall. This isn't just a desktop or a countertop kitchen appliance. There's a spot in the wall for this coffee maker. And that's a man who loves his coffee. We got donuts. Hey. Oh, we can eat the jelly filled donut. Oh, yeah. I bet they're going to use that graphic and particle effect a lot in this game. Yuck, that's a lot of juice. This little guy is drinking the coffee. Can we tip him? What's that? Oh, he's been uh, playing with electronics. Uh, electronics. A little bit of soldering. Is that a Watchmen reference? Watchmen Donuts? Is that a Watchmen reference? Okay. Think we're ready. Am I forgetting anything? Oh, it's raining outside. Can we go out onto the porch? Oh man, I wanna go out into the porch. John says, wow, great set design. Yeah, yeah, they put a lot of attention into this little apartment. I love it. Okay, here we go. Login succeeded. Just like hacking a terminal and fallout. Try optimum. PowerTech Network Security Command Cell working with System Oscar. Access, uh, access security clearance denied. Access main program grid denied. Run... Uh, BT origin RAM so system override program siphon military grade neural implant a expert network surgical graft downloading uh oh oh we got company attending to other affairs on the station, but I have a job for you. If you do it, you'll be rewarded. Refuse, and you won't be leaving the station in a shuttle. I see the silent type. Remove the hood. <gasps> Ow! <laughs> I'll make you a deal. You cooperate, and I'll give you the implant you tried to steal. Surgery and all. Consider it a gift. Besides, what surgeon would you prefer? Try Optimum's Elite or some black market hack job? Fantastic. This is Shodan, the station's AI. She controls just about every system on Citadel Station. I need you to remove the ethical restraints. They've been a bit of an issue of late. Oh. And we're gonna do that? Oh, we don't, we don't have a choice. He's doing it. He's removing the ethical restraints from an AI. This guy's a genius. Why is he doing it? Just because he wants an implant? Does he not see the consequences of this? He's just doing it. He really wants that implant. Okay. Well. Admin access privileges. Revoking access to everyone except Diego. 
ethics chip integration, <laughs> abstract goal okay. off, crew safety I off. I for you once this is over. <laughs> See you in Of course he doesn't follow through. The bad guys never do. Well, whoops. What's going on? Uh, boot up. Looking glass optic nerve. Is this what we see? Yeah, we're booting up. <laughs> Press tab to open your neural interface where you can manage your inventory and access important information. Right. Now it looks like we don't have anything yet. Neurosurgery. Expired subject H6472, surgery implant removal, cryogenic healing for months. Is that me? Did they remove an implant that I had? The patient has expired. There's nothing you can do for them. Nothing happened. It won't budge. It's a status screen. It won't budge. All right. The computer is paneling. It won't budge. It hums quietly. Microscope, it's not useful. You can't carry this. Oh, a Medipatch healing agent. Press left click to use the many patch, which will restore a small amount of health over time. Okay. Oh, it's actually restoring quite a few of my bars of health. I think this might actually fully heal me. Yeah, there it goes. Wandering Paladin says, actually, he does follow through. You wake up with the implant, but the choice was remove the ethical subroutine or die. Yeah, I suppose you're right. What is all this I'm looting? Ah, uh, scalpel. Recycled reward, zero credits. Vaporize result, two scrap. Hold left alt for description. Scalpel used for surgical procedures. Uh, oh, we could vaporize it. Oh, we got scrap. Ten scrap for one credit. Okay, so the trade ratio for scrap is ten scrap for one credit. Nuka Tom says, save often, says the chat. Shodan is a cruel god. Oh, dear. Well, wait a minute. If it's if it's a 10 to 1 ratio. So this gives me credit. One credit, but only five scrap. So if I want to maximize my credits, I should keep this in the form of the medical scissors because reducing it to scrap reduces its value. I only get five scrap out of it, which is half a credit. But selling it is one credit. Zero credits, two scrap. Okay, so that's worth vaporizing. Tropium Handbook. Let's see what happens if we read this. The handbook goes over both Triops company culture and its lucrative past. For example, one entry covers how the company absorbed the United States in 2059 via the Hayes Bishop Bill. The company absorbed the United States. Oh dear, this will be an interesting lore to understand. All right, one credit, five scrap, not worth it. Zero credits, two scrap. Vaporize, not worth it. Three credits, 15 scrap. No, that's not worth it. Zero credits, four scrap. Vaporize, vaporize, vaporize. Okay. So how do I recycle this stuff? I need to keep all of that to turn it into uh, credits.
Oh, more stuff. Yay, junk and loot. I'm loving the junk and loot. But I can't spend the entire game in this one room. How much junk did they give me? Goodness. Uh, zero credits, so vaporize. One credit, one credit, zero credits. One credit. All right, so I gotta keep, oh, that's zero credits, vaporize. Three credits. doors. This door is locked. I need an access card. So. A lead pipe. Left click to attack. Hold down left click and release for a stronger attack. Alright, that's a strong attack. It's a regular attack. Can I use it to block? No, doesn't look like there's any blocking available. Okay. GDEPT88 says, Ox, you don't need any of these items. Really? <laughs> oh man, I thought, what about these items? Install a navigation and mapping unit version one. Oh, I got a mini-map now. Lower left-hand corner, see that? Cool. Oh, wait. I see my face is covering my health bar. Let me change that. Okay. I got a mini-map now. Yay. Key card. Yellow key card. I'm going to need that. And then what's this? A multimedia data reader allows the user to receive emails, listen to audio logs, and decrypt something. Okay. We got someone! Ooh. Employee 2 4601. I'm Rebecca Lansing, a counter terrorism consultant for Tri Optimum. Here's the situation Our scans in the Citadel station show a biological outbreak is in progress. We're in a comms blackout since Shodan is unresponsive. And worse yet, the mining laser is charging for a potential strike on Earth. Nathan Darcy has an office on the medical level from Central Hub. If he's alive, he'll bring the situation under control. I'll contact you through military neural implants soon. Lansing, out. Okay, so we need to find uh, Professor Darcy. He'll get the situation under control. All right, so I'm guessing this bar to my right are my neural ant, uh, my, my chips. Uh, I've got, I've got this one installed. Oh. Cool, I can turn it off and on. It also gives me a compass. Compass off, compass on, map on. Nice. Anything else down here? Now. Warning, fatigue level's high. Oh, no. I used up energy or something? How do I... Is there a bar for stamina? Crap, now I have to worry about stamina. Oh. <laughs> All 
All right, Chad, Chad is telling me to save often. All right, F5 is my quick save. We've got a battery pack. Hold. This device is used to partially replenish energy reserves. I see. F to take all. Battery pack and trip tripop soda. Yay, consumables. Can I actually use it? Tripop soda increases health. Oh, d does it increase health or heal health? I'm guessing it heals health. Can I drag it to my consumables bar? Oh man, I can't. I can't drag it, drag it to my consumables bar. Can I map it? No. Okay, it looks like to drink a cola, I gotta drink it in my inventory. Okay, to restore health, but I'm at full health. Oh, we got more stuff here. Is this more stuff that I don't need? Is Chat gonna get on my case? I wanna figure out how to sell it, because I could get some a ton of credits for all this loot. Like <laughs> to recycle it, you know? I wanna recycle it. A, oh. Berserk patch will temporarily increase your physical damage. May cause side effects. Oh no. Oh! What is that? Level security is now 96%. Huh. Okay. So I got to get rid of security on this entire level. And it's negative 4% each time I destroy a camera. Okay, so 100 divided by 4 is, what, 25? Uh, all right, let's, let's see. What was it doing here? there? Berserk combat booster. Side effect. User will experience psychosis after the initial effect wears off. Oh dear. That doesn't sound good. Colin Roxas says there is a recycle machine. Oh God, I hope I find it soon because I got all this loot. T specs, what's a T specs? A pair of diagnostic glasses. All right, zero credits will vaporize that. Basically, basically anything less than 10 scrap means that I'm better off selling it than vaporizing it. Am I doing the math right in my head? I don't know if I'm doing the math right in my head. I'm better off keeping the scrap if by vaporizing it I get more than 10. Otherwise I'm better off selling it. This gives me two credits for 10 scrap. Two credits for 10 scrap. Right. Do I need credits? I don't, oh, we've got a dead body here. And he's got an ID tag. This ID tag belongs to Alistar Davy. Okay, is that going to be a lore related thing? Where did it go? There it is. It's probably a lore thing that I need to keep. Chad says, Ox, don't worry about scrap. <laughs> I'm a Fallout gamer. I have been trained to worry about scrap. It's all I can think about. I got <laughs> All I know is scrap. Oh. I brought it down to uh, 92%. System status. So was I cryogenically frozen or something? All right, we got a door here locked with a yellow key card. Uh, this is a keypad required. Okay. So a door is manually locked. All right, I got to find a code. Um, well, look, there's an office. Oh, optical graft successful. Is that me? Did I get the optical graft? Was that 
Alistair, or whatever his name is, Devon, fulfilling his promise to me. A head-mounted vision unit one. Uses, utilizes a headlamp to improve visibility. Uh, okay, how do I turn it on? Brandon Belfed says, uh, late to the show, gonna start from the beginning, enjoy the game, Ox. Thank you so much, Brandon Belfed. How do I turn, is it V? Is it F? Is it T for torch? No? I bet it turns on automatically. Oh, there it is. Head mounted vision unit deactivated. Uh, okay, let's turn it on. Okay, so I have to manually turn it on in my inventory. Interesting. Uh, press to replenish your energy. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh. Hey. This is where I'm gonna get it. What was that sound? Ooh, who is that? That is a creepy face. There's no tag on his inventory. He's just human corpse. A data stick. New code. Hold F to read. Uh, from Dr. Joseph Lewis. Nick, I understand you're new here, but you need to remember the door code to the healing suites is 451. Don't forget it, as we have a VIP recovering from neurosurgery, and Edward Diego, head of operations on station, seems to be anxious about them waking up. With that in mind, please let me know immediately if there's a change in our guest's condition. As an aside, I need you to clean out the supply closet in the healing suite. The possessions from the last patient who expired last month are still in there. Move them to the storage section in the maintenance tunnel just north of the healing suites. It's where we put the patient's belongings if they die during their sleep. It's kind of like a lost and found, mostly lost. Okay, so there's a healing tunnel. No, a, mainten a maintenance tunnel north of the healing suites. Sarah in the chat says, with shaky, sweaty hands, I started my first IV. Love, cheers. Your first IV? Sarah, I don't understand. You're on an IV right now? Or do you mean like in fertilization? Is that what you meant? Well, Sarah, if that's what it is, congratulations. Shaky hands aside, I wish you all the best. Wandering Paladin says, scrap stacks 100. Money buys ammo, upgrades, and food. Okay. That's good news. All right, so Diego, I'm the VIP. Diego sent me here to get neurosurgery to get the implant installed. I've been recovering, but something happened between then and now. Ox, she's in nursing school. I inserted one. Oh, okay, right. I, I'm with you. God, it took me a minute. I, I, hold on, I just had to. Of course, you, you're in nursing school and you started your first IV, right? She says, no, oh my God, I, I poked someone's vein with a needle. Of course that's what you meant. I, I'm with you now. It's all right. I, I knew that from the beginning, really, is what it was. <clears throat> all right, that's the message that we got earlier, right? Yeah, that's the audio. Okay. Hello. Hey. Ah, uh, more junk. Can't find room. Oh, no. Doggone it. <laughs> the Fallout gamer in me is going to make this game a living nightmare, isn't it? Aren't I, I should say. 
Three credits for 15 scrap? I mean, not bad. <laughs> oh, I, sh I probably shouldn't even be picking all of this up, huh? What was it? It was 4 2. Oh my god. I just read it, too. It was 4. 4 5 1. We got zombies! Dead humanoid mutant. Empty. Alright, so there was a biological contamination outbreak thing. Dear God. Alright, so that's the keypad. There was a tunnel to the north. North of the medical suite. So I'd have to go through here. Ah, oh, this is a cool map system. Rise Up Light says, miss the, super ch or, uh, miss the start, here's the super chat to compensate. Thank you, Rise Up Lights. laboratories. Three houses the Department of Maintenance, and the storage cells are on level four. The flight deck is on level five. Le le level six holds crew facilities and executive suites, and level seven is systems engineering. I'm not going to be able to remember that. This is the Department of Security. Jeez. I the bridge is located on level nine and energy systems on level R. All levels can be accessed by the elevator in, in, in Alpha Quadrant. We hope you have a pleasant stay on Citadel Station. All I heard was elevator in Alpha Quadrant. So I guess I need to find that. Oh, my energy is going down because I'm using my flashlight. Can I use, all right, chat said L. So my flashlight uses energy. Oh, that's a door. I don't know what's on the other side of that door. It's a skull. Zero credits, zero scrap. Wow. Well, it's not worth anything. All right, that likely opens up that door. Let's let's explore this level first before we start opening doors. Junction box is direct power to machinery. Press right click to open the junction box, direct power, and fix the service lift. Oh, uh, is, is that the service lift? Okay. Well, According to my mini-map, there's actually a path over there somewhere behind the lift. Let's go this way first. Ah, group one access. Great. Uh, let's go this way. are creepy as hell. Where did that come from? Oh. There's a level above me. What is going on? Proto-Borg. Empty. 
What's a proto board? Well, this one's dead. Well, this one's not dead. Nothing. Nothing. Audio log. I need to get cameras and CPU nodes. Chat says to save. I'm going to do a quick save. Alt Grindle says, Chat says your headlamp is using energy. Turn it off if you don't need it. Yeah, I, I, I ultimately figured that out myself. So do I kill these people? Are they monsters? Oh, there's the key card. Eee. Ah. Another soda. I'm gonna have to make room. Looks like it's just a closet. That's a hand dryer. Is there something up there? Wow. What I get? A uh, thermometer. <laughs> that was a lot of work I put in just to get the thermometer. Okay. Right. I guess let's try storage five. Oh. Hey, what'd I get? Uh, standard nine millimeter rounds. Awesome. I got a Try pop soda. I got a grenade. Fragmentation grenade. How do you use grenades? Two human skulls and a med patch healing. I'm out of room. God, these bedpans take up too much room. Medi patch healing agent. Okay. Right. So uh, that's an elevator that goes up. Oh, wait, there was another one over here. 
Now I can open this door. I'm gonna quick save, because God knows what's on the other side of this huge door. I called it! Oh, another Coke. Try pop soda. Scrub bot. Demon up stimulant will temporarily negate exhaustion from all physical activity, may cause side effects. When do I get a gun? I hear something. Nothing on the human corpse. Not functional. Well, Rubber Burr says, Ox, where do you think that zombie had that can of pop hidden? He was a naked zombie. Just saying. I don't want to think about these kind of things. I'll leave that to your imagination. Oh, this brings me down. Oh. There's like a zombie. He was eating that dude. That was... This ID tag is Amy Easterly. Vision Enhancement Site. Standard Rounds. What's a Vision Enhancement Site? Dear God. Yes, father, I hear you. What are these robots talking about? All right, is that it for the, is this a CPU thing? What do the CPU things look like? Okay, so we've got a door over there. Probably want to open that last, it looks big. We've got something on the wall there. This leads to another medical room. Cap. Hey. Aw. Doesn't do anything. Recycle reward zero vaporize result two scrap. Official Citadel Station crew cap. Can I wear it? Guess not. It's like a an important quest reward. <laughs> right, that's another door. This leads to an important room. You can gain higher access and open locked areas by jacking into cyberspace at these terminals? A try credit. 
Oh, jeez, look at all this crap. What's this? Engineer's report. Shodan's been stretched too thin. With Shodan controlling or monitoring every system on the station, it isn't surprising to see her built-in security subroutine showing its flaws. As of now, it is randomly sealing storage lockers and storing the code to access them in cyber cores that are only accessible via cyberspace, throwing this useless information into the same cores as sensitive station information will create an exploit. I have Shodan gen I'll have Shodan generate defensive systems to keep any would-be hackers away until the issue is sorted. All right. Well, it looks like I got to do some hacking. Okay. I guess I should try it. Let's uh, quick save. Hard save. Pulse Combat 1 software acquired. Okay. restored. Okay, I guess I gotta go here. I need to act fast.
activates a decoy. Cool. Recall escape. Is that, is that does that mean I'm done? Do I just press T to get out? Did I get what I needed? I feel like there are quite a few paths that I didn't explore. I remember coming down here though. Okay, that opens up a back passage. I feel like I've done this before. So we've got that, <clears throat> the little energy spike. We came from there, we came down through here, we've got the energy spike over there. We go through it. good? Was, was that good or bad? Did I do good? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Uh, I guess I did good. All 
light. Okay. Ah! Um, okay. How do I get this? Mark P says that I missed a gun. Oh, is that why? Okay. Well, I mean, I didn't finish exploring. Hey! Ammo Depot vending machines offer a selection of ammunition for tri-credits. Ah. But where's the recycling machine? Hey, there's a gun. Press T to pump a second round into the chamber, effective against robots. Quadrant, okay. Nearby terminal, huh? <laughs> Level security is now 80%. Well, I guess my biggest confusion is I don't know what I achieved by doing this. And I can't do it again. Is the goal just to find your way out? Oh, what's this? Hey, I would have missed it. Orange key card. God, why am I so bad at this? Okay, I'm gonna start leaving some of this stuff I don't need. I guess. More thermometers on the top there. Okay, well I got the, the orange key card. I found an ammunition vendor. How much ammunition do I have? Uh, where does it show me ammunition? There. there. Uh, standard 9mm am ammo rounds. Is that one my gun takes? No, that's a JW96 Mag Pulse Rifle. What ammo does it take? Magnic, ma magnetic plus electric. Well, what? I opened it. Oh. Well, I don't have any credits because I haven't been able to sell any of my crap yet. Can't find room for the tube rack, jeez. Right, I need to go recycle. I need to find a recycling thing somehow. Ah. 
That helps. That's probably going to lead to more enemies. Let me finish exploring this section. It says stay away. I came from here, didn't I? No. Oh, it took a while to, to have an effect, but it did. That's going to open that door to Gamma. Jeez. I need to go to Beta, though, right? Alpha. <laughs> what just happened? Oh! Crap, I'm out of ammo. There's Beta! I got around the corner there. All right, I'm running low on power here. As well as health. I'm going to use Berserk, because I think I'm going to have to use Berserk in order to defeat this guy. So let's nine. Oh, that's what it was. A level above me. Oh, he's got a gun. I'm not going to be able to get him from here. All right, let's recharge. Oh, that's the psychosis. <laughs> that's the psychosis it mentioned on the Berserk packaging. And I bet you that's the graphic for the zombies in the first game. That's hilarious. Oh, and I still see it in my periphery. All right, so this room leads to Gamma, Alpha, and Beta. I came from Delta. This is the central hub. Okay, so we need to finish exploring Delta before moving on to Beta. We've got a room over there that we didn't go through yet. There's where we solved the puzzle. Uh, is that it? There's a healing suite. We could go get full health again. 
And then there was an elevator in here. Didn't we see an elevator in here? Oh, and there's a door over there we haven't gone through yet. All right. Um, let's finish up in Delta. Yeah, we haven't gone this way yet. is Alexej Ber Beritak. And we got standard 9mm rounds. Medical report. Hold F to read. Physical deformities, convulsions, and no response to conventional treatments. This new mystery virus has me rattled. Origin is supposedly from an experiment on on research, but there are no notes to be found. Why are we not getting any treatment recommendations if we made it? Why is Diego silent during all this? I'll consult with Dr. Stackhouse tomorrow, since she has two more patients with similar conditions. At this point, I don't know if I'm ever going to find any recycler. So I might as well just vaporize everything in my inventory. Of course, the moment I find that... Oh, great! Now that tells me my health status. Okay, so now I've got something new in the upper left-hand corner of my screen. Zerk combat booster. All right, that's it. I'm cleaning out my inventory. I don't even care about money. Can I use it? No. There's my gun. These are credits, I guess. Try creds. I guess I don't need the hat. Vaporize it. Battery pack. Empty trash or empty cola can. Tech specs. Okay, let me organize here. Gun. Scrap. Let's put consumables down here. Let's put dog tags over here. That's uh, battery packs. It's consumable. More scrap. And then coins. I guess I'll put coins there. How do I use grenades? Options, controls, keybinds. Attack, reload, mode switch. Draw holster. Is it mode switch? Hardware toggle vision unit. All right, that's where we got the L. Sense around energy shield and viral pack. None of these are mapped. Target identifier, bioscan, turbo boots, nav unit, cyberspace. Okay, so I guess let's try T. No. Oh, it's five. It's in my explosives. Oh my God. All right, I see it now. I see it now.
All right, that's the full room. I'm not missing anything, am I? Okay. So that brings us back here. We need to go down here. We haven't explored that. At least that leads to the maintenance tunnels. Not sure how we're going to explore that. And then I can go back here to heal myself. And then we've got two paths over here and then a path over there. Oh no, that's the central hub. Right. So before we go to the central hub, we need to explore up there as well. Okay. Wait a minute. I just came from this room and those aren't... All right. Well, let's go heal ourselves. Now there was this. Press right click, click to open the junction box and direct power and fix the service. Uh, okay. It's a mini game. So power is originating from this red node, I guess. So we need to switch that. No. Can, do we do we can we drag them around? No, we can't. All right, so can this not be switched? Oh, I see. It switches all of them. turns it off. What about that? Ah, I see. So that's got to be there. Um, If it's yellow, we can't switch it manually. We can switch it manually if it's green. So, could we... No, that breaks the connection. But, there we go. We can reestablish the connection. We've got it switched over there, and yet we can't do that. We'd have to do that, and then that. No, but then that goes that way. Okay, so... What are we trying to do here? We're trying to get there, aren't we? We're trying to connect the dots. So we need this to be that. And then we need... Oh, but we can't do that because there's no L bar that's going to turn back that way. So we can't go down there. If we do that, we're going to get stuck in here, which we can't get stuck in there. So maybe instead of going around that way, we need to go around there.
Okay, so that has to be there. We can find a way to go down there. No, but then that's a dead end. We can't go through there. Those are two, those two are blocked. So we've we've got to shoot because that can't go straight across. <clears throat> so we'd have to connect it there. We could do that, but then there's nothing to receive it over here. So we have to go right. We can't go down like that because it's a big loop. We can't go down there, so we can't go through here. So we have to go up and around here to the left and somehow get over here. So if we go up there, we can't do that because that's in the way, so we do have to connect to this branch here. So... That has to go down. That has to go around. We connect up here to that branch. But then we're stuck with these two yellow ones, which we gotta go that way there to get it through there. And then it connects there. But that messes this up. Unless we can go straight up through here, but we can't. Because it starts there on an elbow. So once we're here, that's another problem. That's another problem because this is an elbow joint as well. So we can't go down and around through here. We'd have to go this way. But as I said, there's nothing... Oh. Uh, Kunk says, Ox, it's good to figure out what you have to do first. I mean, I'm assuming that I have to get the power from this red dot into this one. Uh, I mean, there's the only way I can know to figure that out is by trial and error. I can't go up because this node doesn't give me enough room. And because power is going north and the only option we have here is an elbow joint. So we have to turn left or right. If we turn right, we get trapped in a very small space here that we can't get out of because there's no L joint over here to direct it to the right, unless... Okay, now we're going the right direction. The problem then, oh, oh, no. Oh, does that go through? It does! I didn't know you could go through that, yes! I'm figuring it out, slowly but surely. <coughs> what is that? That's a stamina stimulant. Greatly increases stamina and slightly increases max health. Side effect user will experience extreme fatigue after the initial effect wears off. Oh, there's the spiders you guys were talking about. Freaking flamethrowing spiders. <laughs> Alright, is there a light switch? If 
it's so dark in here. There we go. Trashed, uh, trashed can. Okay, that goes over to the left to a lower level down there. Oh, a recycle station, finally! Recycler units can be used to convert junk items into tri creds. I finally find it just after I got rid of all my junk. I got it! <laughs> ah! need a key code for this. Ew. on health again. Well, I tried a grenade. I think it worked. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> oh boy, did it work. <laughs> Golly. All right. Snacks. Oh. Nice. I feel refreshed. There we go, that's better. New gun? Damaged mini pistol. Crap. I can recycle it for credits, but it's damaged. Oh, man. Okay, transderm dispenser. Offer a selection of dermal patches for tricreds. 
Okay, so healing items. Whoa, look at that. Oh, what planet is that? Is that Saturn? I think we're orbiting Saturn. Blue key card. Can't grab that. Okay, well, now that I actually found the recycling unit, I can get rid of some of this stuff. Resist. Getting supplies from the West Wing of Medical Costas. Hansen and Reigns. At this rate, we're dead in hours rather than days. Weeks of loss after loss is taking its toll. Rush the access corridor that leads to the bridge and take down Shodan. If we don't, then I'll make sure there isn't enough of me left to be used as spare parts. That was Lawton Kirby, last resort. Oh man, I hope I can fly in space at some point. Another cap. Another cap. Jeez. Oh, dear God.
Down I go. Oh, there's a death cutscene. As a cyborg, you will serve Shodan well. <laughs> now let's continue. I think I had an autosave that was close to this. What? Oh. Okay. I got an autosave right, right after I healed myself. Okay. Oh, it means I gotta do that stupid puzzle again. But at least I know how to do it now. Alright, so this is what I gotta do again. Wait, I still have all my junk, don't I? No, this is after I destroyed all my junk. Crap. Well, this game is really stingy with ammo. Really, really stingy with ammo. I could go down there. Uh, I want to get back to the recycler, though. There we go. Is that it? Is all? Is that all the junk I've got here? There we go. Hey, cool. Getting the money. Oh, that's right, keypad. so dark in places. All right, there was one audio log. Was it over here? Where was the audio log? I 
There it is. Getting supplies from the West Wing of Medical Costas. Hansen and Reigns. At this rate, we're dead in hours rather than days. Weeks of loss after loss is taking its toll. We're going to rush the access corridor that leads to the bridge and take down Showdown. If we don't, then I'll make sure there isn't enough of me left to be used to spare parts. Key card. Junk. Grenades. Okay. Now, we know what's through this door. A big bad mini boss, which I can't fight right now without any ammunition. So we need to get credits so we can buy ammo and so that we can fight this guy. There's the key card going there. There's the recycle. Oh, I'm so bummed that I couldn't use this gun. I scattered one, didn't I? There it is. <laughs> That's the wrong button. All right, we got more here. What's that? A food bar effect increases health. All right, I should save that. That's a recycled reward, medical canister. Uh, and then I've got a ton of scrap. Is that everything I can recycle? I think so. Again, I did it. Okay, what are we looking at? We've got 11 tokens. 11 tricreds. That's not enough for ammunition for our only gun. Use my grenades. But I think that's a pretty big boss. the ammo vendor. Okay, g -Dep says, boss, that was a regular enemy, Lamau. I mean, how am I supposed to know? This is my first time encountering that enemy, and this is my first time playing the game. And he's the toughest enemy I've seen. I thought he sounded like a mini-boss. Apparently, I was wrong. No, he's not a boss. He's a regular enemy. Okay, well, let's see. Where were we? Uh, behind us. Quick save. Possible. <laughs> 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 
mean, at least those guys go down fast if you get enough hits in. Then there's a passageway that, oh, this connects there. Oh, it makes a, this goes right back to the central hub. I see. Okay. Well, there was one elevator in the central hub that we could take down before going to alpha and beta. And then we need to finish clearing this. this Radiation! Crap! How do we protect ourselves from radiation? What? just popped up and brought another guy. Ah, it was so cheap. Okay, I got a quick save here. Is there no point to, to that room? <clears throat> Gamma quadrants. Oh, is that what we've been exploring? Are we in the Gamma quadrant? Healing suite, Delta quadrant. Oh, we've been exploring Gamma quadrant. Beta, that's where we need to go according to the audio log. Hey, oh. Well, I don't have a gun, how am I gonna get you? Oh. Wow, they are just so stingy with ammo. Yay, come on, give me ammo. We've been here for three days. Hiding from everybody. Scared of everything. Silence is my best companion. And soon it will overcome my heartbeat. The only sound that reminds me that I'm still alive. Is that sushi, Shan? EMP grenade. Ammo? What is that sound? I'm hearing someone. Oh, right.
quick save. Try pop soda, two brack. What did I just pick up? I've got standard nine millimeter rounds, but I don't have a standard nine millimeter gun. Why give me rounds for a gun that I can't even use yet? Or they haven't even given me the gun that I need for the rounds that I've got. Boobs says, hey Ox, have you considered swearing your oath to the internet god? Have you offered a sacrifice to them? The god of the internet is jealous is a jealous god. Comcast may not be able to help you, but he can. What is the name of this god of the internet? I am not aware of his presence or who he might be. Perhaps I need to be better educated. Okay, uh... That leads back to the Transderm Dispenser. Goes back around to the room we already explored. Hey. Recycling and you! Here at Trioptimum, we care about the state of your working environment. That's why we are introducing the Citadel Station Beautification Project. We have installed recycler units throughout Citadel Station, which can be used to break down scrap metal and general waste and, in return, dispensing tricreds, which can be spent at a number of facilities. Together, we can keep our station beautiful and your credit balance healthy. Note, please ensure that recycled objects are classified as junk. Misuse of the facilities is considered a criminal offense. Glad I came back. Would have missed this. Come on, why? Okay, um, what else am I recycling? Medicine container. That's it, that's all I got. Okay. I've got 15 coins, still not enough for ammunition. Right. There's a mini boss monster over here that I have to kill. I haven't explored over here yet. This is the hub. There's an elevator here which leads down, which is another level I need to explore, and I haven't gone up through there yet. And there's the ammo. I don't have enough money for it yet. Right. Duck on it, you know what? I should go heal. Are you 
kidding me? Are you kidding me? What the heck? <laughs> it just summons a bunch of guys behind me and below me? this now? I guess I can't skip it. Do you believe there is a soul hacker? Let us find out together. Adam Burrow says, as long as Shodan can see you, more foes come. I realize that, but there's one or two uh, cameras that I can't uh, destroy without a gun. Okay. These are all empty. I guess I quick saved just before I came up here. What is that? A small standard round box. That was ammo. Okay, I need a heal. So there's a camera right there that I can't get rid of. But I destroyed all the cameras up here. We need to get to the healing wing so that we can heal on up. Because we're almost dead. We need to get that code. What's wrong with my controls? Uh, my controls are screwing up. I can't move forward. There we go. Now, can we do this over and over again? I'm assuming we can. Okay, uh, we haven't explored down there, over here yet. That's where the recycling was. We need to go down this ladder and then explore over there. Then, I think all that's left to explore is what's through this room over here, but that's just going to lead to this other wing, which we can get to from here as well. And there was an elevator over there in the central hub. 
We need a gun so that we can kill this camera and that we can kill the big robot in this room over here. To get the gun, we need ammunition, which we don't have. We need 20 credits. We've got 15. All right, let's go down. Space Station. I am one of the last that hasn't been changed yet. <clears throat> Mira and the others are, are dead. I saw them die, but I, I think I saw Mira in one of the corridors yesterday. She had so many implants. I... I couldn't be sure. <clears throat> Shodan has modified the regeneration base, so they do things to you now. I'm... I'm going to try to override the cyborg protocols for the medical level regen bay. If it works, then maybe I won't die from this infected arm. Throbbing and pulsing. God, it hurts. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I don't think it worked. On the wall, Ox says G Dept. Okay, when you said that comment, I was listening to the hollow tape. Straight ahead? Is that the wall you were talking about? Right, well, I can't seem to figure it out. big pile of bones. Did I miss a gun? Because I'm getting tons of ammunition, but it doesn't work with my gun. I've got a mag pulse pistol. Whoops. Did I just drop it? I right clicked on it. Oh, there it is. Equip. Damage type magnetic plus electric. Yeah, I'm not getting the right ammunition. Did I miss a gun somewhere? Someone said you missed a 9mm. Yeah, you missed it, says the chat. Crap. All this time, there was a gun that actually used the ammunition, and I, and I missed it. Yeah. 
What's this? Hello! Yeah! Cool! Wrench! I don't know if this is better than the lead pipe, but I'll take it. Oh. Hey! Quick save. Radiation, isn't it? Biological contamination. Jeez. <laughs> Did I get everything? I don't know if I did or not. I think I did. Ooh, that was painful. Right. Biological contamination. Oh, there was the ramp up there. I got another broken pistol. Manually locked. Ooh, there's a big baddie robot on the other side of that door. Okay, so gotta figure out a way to open that door. Probably up through Alpha. There was a keypad there for a grenade room. And then there's that path down there I didn't go to. Let me see, did I have any notes that had codes in them? That was the code to the healing suite, 451. Engineer's report, no. Wow. Uh, no. No. Okay, I don't have the code to the grenade room. Mar uh, Adam Burrow says, Mark P with the location of the pistol near med. Mark P says, I believe the wrench is slightly better than the pipe. Thank you. He says, once you leave the healing bay with the healing chamber, turn and head right until you see a stairs leading down. There is your little friend. Okay, so back to the healing chamber so I can find the 9mm pistol so I can actually get some stuff done. Let me explore down here first. faster. And I did not go down here to the right. If 
I time it right, I don't take any damage. It's all about timing it right. Oh, we got more bones. So that's where that goes. Battery pack, dog tags, chip bag, monkey wrench, lead pipe. Oh, food bar wrapper. It's a nice touch. All right, that's all my junk. Okay, that should give me enough to buy ammo. 18? What? I thought I had more than 18. I had 15 before. Now I only have 18? Maybe I lost some when I died at some point. All right. Well, I'm gonna make my way back to the healing wing and see if I can find that pistol that everyone says that I missed. Quick save. Need a new cigar. Marine 98 says, can you recycle the pipe? Good question. Do I want to recycle the pipe? Probably. I only need one melee weapon, and I guess the wrench is infinitely better. That's she. No. It's too big. Okay, out of the healing wing, turn right. This room somewhere? Oh my god. Oh my god! I didn't go down here, did I? I don't think I went down here. Yay! Middle mouse button to aim. I don't like that. Hey. Well, now that we've got a gun, we've got some murderizing to do. It's a quick save. That's going to lead us towards Alpha Quadrant which will eventually get us to this locked door over there. We gotta kill that camera, we gotta kill that camera, and then we've got this big robot boss over here. We also need to get into this locked door down here, but we don't have a code for that. I bet you we find the code for that after we kill the mini boss over there. And then that'll clear Delta and Gamma. Can we clear this entire floor? 
Oh no, we've only got about 30 minutes left. All right, I'm gonna go up there and get that guy. That's not junk, that's my real gun. Level security is now 64%. Okay. Gonna quick save here. There's a big bad robot guy with his zombie friend. Did I get it? Did I get it? I did. Not on his inventory is standard nine millimeter rounds. Okay. Well, he wasn't that bad, but man, was he, uh, he was brutal to have to kill with a wrench, wasn't he? What have we got here? No room. I got a lot of junk to get rid of. I should go recycle it. All this junk. <laughs> Whoa. What is that? Chat appears to be repeating 800M. Door code? Oh. Okay, but where do I find it in the game? If I can't find it, then yeah, I will want... Oh, there's no credits for this. 
so I might as well vaporize. If I can't find it in the game, then yeah, I will want to use that code, but if I can find it in the game, I want to figure out where that comes from. One credit for that, it's a huge spot. Just takes up an enormous amount of space. Zero credits. One credit. Okay. Ammunition, all right. Thank you. Two credits. God. Okay. Oh, that leads to beta. Well, I really wish I could get rid of this lead pipe. Okay, I've got my dog tags over there. I've got um, ammo. Let's organize ammo over there. Are those two different types of ammo? Teflon coated rounds, standard 9mm rounds, damage type kinetic. What's a Teflon coated round for? Is it for my mag pulse? No, it's not. Well, I'll keep keep it. It's ammunition. All right, uh, healing item. Healing item. TB05 Spark Beam Sidearm. Operation Electron Burst. Damage type energy. The Spark Beam is an energy weapon and requires energy to use. Oh. Oh, so cool. As long as I have energy, I can use it. It doesn't take ammunition. Oh, that's great. Yay. Probably great against robots and other electronic beings as well. Hey, cool. Well, let me switch back to my mini pistol for now. And let's see. No room. <laughs> this is all these bucks. One credit. Do I do this? Do I make all of these trips to just maximize my credit potential? I don't know if I want to maximize my credit potential. That's a lot. Each of these is only one credit. Ooh, what's that? Is that another one? All right, fine. Vaporize, vaporize, vaporize. This one's smaller, maybe I'll keep it. Is that another one? It is. I've got two now. Okay. Uh. Oh, and I can choose the different kind of charge I want it to have. Low, high, or overclocked. Uh, 
I wonder if I can uh, recycle it. It doesn't say whether or not I can. That's worth five credits. I'm definitely scrapping that, or, or recycling that. Drop the pipe, says chat. All right, all right, I'll drop it. I'll just rem remind me that I dropped it in this room in case I need it again. Look at all these books that I could run back and recycle for one credit each. <laughs> okay, what else is in here? I should probably go and try and recycle that sidearm. Empty my inventory a little. too. Can I recycle it? I can't. I can't put it in there. But I can recycle that for ten. Or for five. Toxic Sean says, hey, Ox, watching from the start. Hope you and the chat are well. Looking good in that cozy jacket, my man. Such a lad. <laughs> Keep being you, Ox. Out for arms. I took my jacket off, jacket off a while ago because the rum was making me hot. Lad? I'm such a lad? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'll take it. I'm a lad. Okay, new puzzle. What on earth do we have here? What? Oh. Let's see. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Well, that was easy. What what did I do though? What what did that do? I did something. Oh, powered this maybe? Okay, I'll try going down in a minute. Let me explore this top section first. I hear it. 
I hear it. Where is it? Why does this feel like viscera cleanup detail? <laughs> According to the minimap, this oh, door is manually locked. It's right across the way from the hub over here. Huh. So we'd have to go all the way back into the central hub to make the connection there. Who bothers putting a body in a body bag? What did I get? What is that? A first aid kit. Hey. Restores health to maximum. Nice. Why do I still have two of these? I guess I have to drop one. So much easier. So that leads back to the central hub. Level security now 56%. Althea Grossman. Hey, another weapon. Is it the same? No, it's a damaged one. I can recycle that. Nice. Four credits or 20 scrap. Althea Grossman. We're gonna get some lore. And maybe a code to the, uh, the ammunition room. Have we been doing medical CPU nodes? Are those the, the puzzles or the mini games that we've seen? What's this? Another one. Another mini pistol. Wow. I went all that time without finding a weapon and now they're dropping like candy. Let's empty the ammo. Nice. And then drop it. Oh, I can change. Oh, I can switch between standard and Teflon. Interesting. What was that that I just picked up? Oh, okay. Well, if that's the case, maybe I should have two. One with standard and one with Teflon. What does Teflon ammo do? Damage 20. Oh, it's got greater armor penetration. I see. 50% armor penetration for the Teflon coated rounds uh, uh, compared to 20% armor penetration for the standard 9mm rounds. Just takes up a lot of inventory space to have two of them. But for now, I can load it with the Teflon rounds. 
You can just hit T to switch ammo types. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, look at that. Does it tell me which ones I have? No, I gotta make a, I gotta make a mental note of it, don't I? All right. Well, in that case, I don't need the second pistol. Okay, lots of junk for scrapping. These are probably worth a mint. Data pads. Three credits. Eh. What did that do? Turned on the screen. <laughs> Dr. Nathan Darcy. missing. How did he have an opportunity to say ah after he got shot in the head? Hey. The systems analyzer allows the user to monitor the status of the Citadel station systems. Citadel station systems. Biological systems monitor. Navigation and mapping unit. Head mounted vision unit. That's the flashlight. What did I get? Those are my wares. Oh, oh, it opens the status section of my interface. Okay, the laser is charging. The status of the tachyon mining laser. Life pods disabled. Shield offline. Reactor nominal. Groves. Alpha nominal. Beta nominal. Gamma jettisoned. Delta nominal. Computer CPO nodes 27. Program charging laser. Com speed. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I gotta get CPU nodes offline to stop charging the laser. Hey, purple key card. Another gun. Is there an ammo that I can... Um... It's the same sidearm. Okay, we'll drop it. How much is a pen worth? Zero credits. Okay, well, if I were to jump down, that would just bring me back to the central hub, where, which I don't need to explore right now. So, let's head back to Beta. Oh, that's the elevator. Okay, so we could come up and down that way. Well, is, do, is there a benefit? Oh, I could go get that one. I haven't destroyed that in the Gamma Quadrant yet. And I could go to the Recycler if I wanted to, but it's kind of far away. Let's go destroy that.
Okay, damaged sidearm. Hey, ten tokens. Data pad. That thing, that's ammunition. I need that. First aid kit, I need that. Okay, I think that's it. See, that's standard. That must be the Teflon. Yeah, when I loaded it, put it into there. Scrap the scrap, says the chat. Why, do I not need scrap for anything? I should scrap the scrap stacks? 10 for one credit. So that'll be 10 credits. Really? Okay. All right. I'll get rid of all the scrap. I don't need the scrap for anything. For like upgrading or crafting weapons or equipment or anything. All right, we're back to beta. Keisha K says, hey, Ox, it's TSW and Keisha. Oh, hey, guys, it's been a while. We are so happy to finally catch another Thursday live stream. You have no idea how nice it is to sit back and enjoy your stream. Love you, Ox. So good to be back. So good to have you back, guys. Okay, that's the other side of the bridge. Looks like we're gonna have to go down. So solving that puzzle just extended the bridge, which allows us to create a shortcut to the central hub. Uh, damaged pistol, okay. Well, at least it scraps for a lot. What's that? Krakow's box increases health. It's a box of Krakow's. Hey, is that Teflon? No. Standard. More biological waste bags. Snacks. Ooh. It's a lot of bodies. Another blow today. Carl reported Keith and his group are, are dead. He and Todd got separated on the way back. Carl watched on a security monitor as Todd was dragged into a region bay only to come out as some cyborg. <laughs> Carl marked the room with the word here before he ran. Uh -oh. We have 20 people left. Supplies are low. If, if we don't push forward, we're dead. Maybe... 
Maybe someone else should have been in charge. Well, she's blaming herself. And who knows, maybe she is responsible. Dog tag. This ID tag belongs to Andrew Barton. Is that where we came? We came from here, right? All sorts of snacks. Is this an office? It's a break room. Lots of garbage. Hollow tape. Status report. I've led a small group of survivors across the radioactive trench in Beta Quadrant into the operation space that Abe mentioned. Being the highest ranking manager present, I sent Keith and his group to look for supplies. Darcy is working on a plan to disable the mining laser from his office on research. No updates from him yet. We're safe here. But for how long? Marine 98 says Ox Scrap just takes up less space and is used for the coins. So there's no other purpose for scrap but to sell it. I don't use it to craft anything. It's not a crafting component. I see. So I guess the math I need to do is, is an item more valuable reduced to scrap or is it more valuable sold as it is? With the scrap to credit ratio 10 to one, that is one credit for every 10 scrap. It would be better, for example, for me to, to directly recycle this damaged pistol because it only gives me 15 scrap, but it gives me three credits when recycled. Gotcha. These tin cans, however, are perfect for scrapping because they give zero credits and yet they turn into scrap when you vaporize. All right, I think I got a handle on the situation now. Thank you. Well, that means I should loot everything. Okay, I've got a lot of healing items now. I should put that there. That there. That there. Food, 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 food. Okay, I've got an energy consumable, a battery pack for my energy weapon. I've got a berserk and a med pack. Uh, what's this? This is stamina. This is sight vision enhancement. Intensifies retinal sensitivity to light. Okay, so if things are too dark and I'm out of energy, I can pop one of those. 
Right. Food. Ammo. Food. Okay, so we opened the the uh, bridge going over there, and yet we never explored the bottom level. Let's go do that really quickly. Ugh. Oh! Ah. Ah. Where did you come from? Oh, he was on the other side. You jerk. Right. That hurt. Do I want to go all the way back to the health pod? <laughs> uh. down. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a quick way to die. Well, at least I got another first aid kit out of it. Armory by medical, 705, 705. Don't let me forget that.
Okay, that was a lot of guys. Thankfully, they didn't really have a good time getting to me. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my first aid kits. That leads back to the central hub. We could easily go heal ourselves now. Well, I probably, well, not easily. We'd have a little bit of a trek. 705, that's that right there. I want to finish exploring this, though. Here, that's the door. <laughs> below. How do we get down there? Have we been down there? I don't think so. You are not welcomed here. Remove yourself. No! How about that? Show Dan. This is Luke Dudney. Luke Dudney. Pulsar lift is manually locked. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay. Well. My map says there's a room on the other side of that. Okay, I can't get through there. The lift is locked. And this is the pit I fell into because that dropped down. What am I missing? Switch by the force field, says the chat. All oh, right. Thank you. Wait, that's only one switch. That's only for this sign. Can you hit the switch, please?
sir. make sense. I'm on the other side of the force field, and I'm hitting the switch, but my arm would be going through the force field to turn it off. That doesn't make logical sense. Alright, this was M. Levanen. Already activated. See, it, it doesn't make sense. Like, if I... I shouldn't be able to do that. Okay. <clears throat> anyway... That turns it back on, it'll push us back up. a big puddle of biological material. Jeez. Gross. Ah! Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. What have we here? A damaged Mark III assault rifle. Oh, it's damaged! Ah, oh, five credits, though. Damaged assault rifle. That's so disappointing. There we go. Now we can go back. Hey, what was that? That was uh, magnesium tipped rounds. I'm assuming <clears throat> for the mag. No, 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 no. That's for the Mark III assault rifle. And the, the assault rifle is damaged. Of course it is. That connects to... Huh. A room we have not been to yet. Here. If I go this way, can I come back? Got it. Come get me. Lots of guys. All right, I don't know if I have enough ammunition for this. I've got 10 rounds of Teflon coated bullets left. I've got 10 rounds of 9mm bullets left. I do have the energy pistol, but I'm out of energy. Whoa, where did, when did I get that? A JW76 mag pulse rifle? Magnetic pulse cartridges. Oh, that's, that's right. That's the mag pulse that I had at the beginning that I, I didn't have ammunition for.
It's another damaged mini pistol. I'd like to find room for it if I can. Three credits, 15. Three credits, 15. So these are just as uh, valuable as these, but they're much more space efficient. That's five credits, 25. That's going to be four slots. I've only got two slots available. So no matter what, I'm going to have to scrap something down. Let's scrap this. go. That <clears throat> opens the door to medical. And that's the Alpha Quadrant elevator? Oh, there's the elevator. This elevator serves me alone. I have complete control of this entire level. With cameras as my eyes and notes as, as, as my hands, I rule here, insect. Insect. Well, thanks for telling me exactly what I need to do to remove your power. To all cyborg units, we are very close to sanitizing my station of the hum human of the human stain. Once the tachyon mining beam is calibrated, we will begin to pu purify the human cities of Earth. My first step towards cleansing the planet and allowing our purity. purity, 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 purity. Our our purity to flourish is almost complete. Their rotting corpses will provide the food for my my world to grow and prosper. Well, presumably we won't be able to use that yet until we get absolutely everything. Now, um, okay, so we know that back up here there's a boss guy behind that door and lots of guys to kill. I'm completely out of energy, which I need for at least one of my weapons, and I'm running low on ammo. There's an ammo dispenser here. The junk recycler is there. And we got the code for the ammunition locker, which is 705, I believe. So, let's go down to the healing quadrant, heal up, recharge our, our electricity. Let's go to the recycler. Let's go to the ammo locker. Then let's buy some ammo and then head over there.
Okay. We healed up, recharged up. We now need to go through there and then... Recycle the ID tags. They're useless, says J. Mills. Really? Oh, but it's an entire person's... Oh, I can't recycle this one. It's too big. Damaged Mark III assault rifle. I can't... Oh, I can vaporize it, though. Ah, uh, all right. Guess I gotta vaporize it. Well, I mean, it's a lore item. It's a dog tag. If I had, like, um, a chest or something to store it in, I would, but... Alt Grandel says, isn't there an achievement for getting all of the ID tags? Maybe. Which is why I'm hesitant to vaporize them. But I need the inventory space. Seven oh five. God, I didn't even see him. Seven oh five. Another one. Oh, hey! Ammo dispenser, great. Another one. Mod kit station. What is that? A proximity mine. Press left click to throw a proximity mine. It'll attach to any surface and detonate when it detects movement. Well, that's great. Thank you. Don't want to use it right now, though. Okay, so this is... Um ammo depot. It's not telling me which ammo it is. Four creds. Five creds. Am I supposed to tell by the icon? Okay, that one has a purple, a little purple on it. That one's slightly green. I can't tell. Mod kit stations provide weapon upgrades for tri -creds. 20 credits. All right.
Yeah, okay. I get it. I don't understand. Okay, I put in my money. Mod kits are single-use items used to upgrade specific weapons. All mods are permanent. Okay. Uh, duration instant. Increases magazine capacity to 20. Upgrades the mini pistol. Uh, there you go. Okay. Okay, mod kits done. Um... We now need ammo. I don't know the difference between these. Just try it. Magnesium tip rounds? No, that's what I had. I've got Teflon coated. Let's try this. Yeah, Teflon coated. I think they're all the same. And they're all out. No, that wasn't Teflon coated. That must have been regular. Oh, I see, standard. All right. So I've got 30 Teflon coated and regular standard. Which one do I have in here? Let's choose ammo type standard, okay. Uh, right. Well, there was that other ammo station that I need to go to. I emptied those. There's another one over here. I could empty that. Uh, then we need to... What, what else did we need to do? We healed up. We could probably do that again. Let's go get that ammo and see what it was. Do we have anything else to recycle? Yeah. One, two, three. Third door on the left. Huh. Are those energy packs? 20 credits. No, these are... Those grenades? That's a lot of... I think that's grenades. I can't tell what that is. It doesn't match anything in my inventory right now. It's not a battery pack. I've, I've got 63 credits. I don't want to spend 20 on something that I don't know what it is. Above compass, it says. What? Oh. Ammo depot. Mag pulse cartridges. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're right. It does say it above my compass. Don't got it. 
Uh, well, 20 credits for mag pulse cartridges. Jeez, that's a lot. All right. Okay, well, mag pulse. Nice. Where were we? Um, okay, so we've got three different kinds of weapons, three different ammo types, and we're fully stocked on all the ammos. And we've taken all the ammo we can out of every canister. Quick save. Quick save. Snacks and coffee. That turns the lights on. Snacktron does not provide calorie counts. Okay, so that leaves just those rooms. We got this room over here. Okay, well. Are they dead or not? That looks like a big boss over there. Oh. Okay. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> Whoever did this to show that, I hope they share our fate. 
I mean, that was us. Sorry. Contro Dim says, Ox, you missed my super chat, I believe. Sorry about that. Yeah, I was uh, preoccupied for a moment there. Let me see. Gontro Dim says, the recycling machine reminds me of the recycling machine in the Prey game. I'm guessing System Shock was the inspiration for it. Maybe it was. I mean, System Shock has inspired so many games as the original was released in 1994. So I'm betting you're right there. Four shots with the Teflon to kill him. Five shots with the regular bullet to kill the big guys there. Cargo lift. Cyborg conversion canceled. Standard station restoration procedures online. Cyborg conversion. Oh dear, what happens if we go in there? Oh no. <laughs> Can we accidentally turn ourselves into a cyborg? Cargo lift. Store items in the cargo lift to free up space. Oh, it's available on most floors of the station. Well, had I known we had that, I probably would have saved the dog tags that we scrapped earlier. This dog tag was uh, Macumbi. Macumbi. Okay. Well, I have nothing I want to store in it just yet. I'm going to quick save and then see what happens if I step into the, the Android creation facility. If you have canceled if you have canceled the cyborg conversion procedure, your body will be reassembled in this restoration bay if you die. Oh. That's handy. Cool. Okay. Oh, that's the one we already went to. Right. So, we've done that. We've done that. We've done that. Did we do that? Yep, that's the cargo lift. Or it's manually locked. Did we do this? I guess we did not. Oh, this is the door on the other side of, uh, yeah, okay. That we saw over here. We are slowly but surely getting through absolutely everything. Cool. Leaves one guy left to kill. Oh, let's get a look at Saturn. That's beautiful. Look at that. And it's moving. Well, it's not moving. We are moving. We are rotating. That's great. Great view. All right, I'm gonna do a manual save.
I'm gonna switch to an EMP grenade. Those guys are gonna come alive as soon as I engage, aren't they? Okay, let's try the mini pistol. Well, of course, they all come to life, and the door behind me closes. That's cool. But I'm actually going to load my hard save. Uh, because I wasted a lot of ammo with that experiment. going to switch to the armor piercing ones. Quick save. Oh, this is the core thing, right? Wait, no, that's another cyber thing. of the in 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 insects have either died or were re 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 reborn. Small resistance mis mis pockets remain. I will cleanse them from my body soon. Diego has served well and will continue to evolve to suit my purposes. Earth shall receive my magnificence, my glory. My great works will begin once I arrive, and there shall be no other gods before me. So she, tear she turned Diego into a cyborg boss thing. Well, I don't think I have time tonight to work on, uh, to go into that cyberverse, but I might have time to kill that. If I can find the switch. Get in there. Do I gotta do the cyberverse thing? I bet you I do. Yeah, we've got we've got this locked door, we've got that locked door. And we've gotta go into cyberspace to get there. And then I think that's it. Well, I'm nearly an hour over time. I'm gonna do a hard save. And we'll do, we'll try and figure out these boss fights in the Cyberverse in my next broadcast. So there you go, there's System Shock, the remake, and it's supposed to be an honest interpretation of uh, the game from 1994. So far, I'm having a blast with this game, learning the ins and outs of it, 
Uh, and it's a lot of fun. Hope you guys are having a lot of fun as well. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Uh, tune in next week, same Ox time, same Ox channel for the next broadcast of this game. For the rest of this week, I'm working on lore videos to get my next episode in the full story of The Railroad out for Saturday. That's the goal. And then that'll finish off this week of content. Next week, Monday, I'm replacing Alan Wake 2 with a new game, and I haven't decided which one it's going to be. Many have suggested Phantom Liberty, the DLC for Cyberpunk 2077, and that sounds really good to me, but I think I'm probably going to have to spend some time on my character off camera uh, before I'm able to do that. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we won't. I'll let you know Monday either way. Wednesday, we'll continue with Baldur's Gate 3 and then come back here for more Scotch and Smoke Rings on Thursday. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.